In this video, I'm going to be making another summer card using my sunglasses and the beautiful tropical fruit print I made the other day. So stay tuned. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut down this pattern paper. This is from the six by six pool party. And I'm going to make, I want the pattern to go this way. So I'm gonna cut at five and a quarter. And then portrait direction four. I'm going to be doing landscape. Oh, not quite. Five and a quarter by four. Okay. So there we have, it's almost covering the entire card base. This will be landscape. Okay, and now I'm going to take this piece because this is five and a quarter by four. I'm going to bring this down another quarter inch or so. I want to save as much as this as I can. And because it's directional, non-directional, it doesn't really matter. So let's do... Four and a half by three and three, uh, four and a half by we have four and a half, four and a half by three and a half. Perfect. Now, I cut these out earlier. I made a birthday card for my brother-in-law, and so these are the opposite pieces. I love the little shimmer, shimmers. And I also cut this piece here, which goes behind it. I'm going to glue this on first. This is from a black plastic that I bought at Amazon. I think it'll do very nicely for Halloween stuff too. I'm just going to take my finger and spread it around. Put that right in the middle, like so, and then we're going to glue. I got this shimmery paper in a pack from Michaels. It's just craft color on the back, almost like a thin cardboard. that. Let's clean this off just a little. There we go. I'm going to attach it here.
kind of a sideways, a bit of sideways. I am taking inspiration from a picture that I saw when I saw this was advertised on Amazon. Down below, there were some pictures, inspirational pictures. Okay, so we have that done. Let's put our pieces on. As usual, I do want to stamp the inside of the card. Let's use some Watermelon Wonder. Let's do a birthday sentiment. Celebrate the good stuff. Okay. Ahead and use my Tombow Snail Runner to put the pattern pieces on. Okay. And this is the, I wanted to go ahead, I don't know if you can see it, but I did go ahead and color in between with a light blue watercolor pencil and then I just added a little bit of water and you can see it's not just stark white the only white you see is inside the coconuts that goes right in the middle cute 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 and then Our sunglass piece goes there in the middle. And we can go ahead and angle this too. I think that'll look cute. Up a little bit because I'm going to put a piece of ephemera on. So there's, there's the outside of the card. And we can decorate. These are pieces I've had for a while but I think they're appropriate. It's too big. Plot twist. I'm going to go ahead and stamp happy birthday for the outside. I'm going to be using the same watermelon wonder that I used in the inside. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to pop that up on foam tape. Got these from Amazon. These are the bigger ones. They have smaller ones also. I think two will do. that right there and now we'll do some decorating these are older so we'll see how well they stick okay let's Shade the sunglasses, that's not a problem. There we go. And there's a tiny one here that we can put on the sentiment itself. And here's the outside of the card. Let's decorate the inside of the card. I have pool party stickers, and you know me, 
I love to decorate the inside of my card with stickers. Let's use, oh, not quite. Finding something that fits would be interesting. There we go. Let's do a pineapple. Okay. If you would like to see the cards I made with my little pineapple and sunglasses, please watch the video. It's going to be linked at the end. Thank you again so much for watching and see you again soon. Bye-bye.